Welcome to Biochemistry DSV channel. In this video, I will be discussing about the structure and function of lipoproteins. Lipoprotein, uh, it is a conjugated protein composed of lipids. Uh, these lipids include triglyceride, cholesterol, cholesterol ester and phospholipids. It will also have specific proteins called apolipoproteins. So, the lipid portion is called the prosthetic group and the lipid free part is the apoprotein or apolipoprotein. Structure of lipoprotein. So, these lipoproteins will have a complex molecule uh, made up of lipid core. Okay, This uh, lipid core will be uh, consisting of triglyceride, cholesterol ester which will be surrounded by a shell of apoproteins and cholesterol and phospholipids. So, they include cholesterol ester, cholesterol, triglycerides and phospholipids. So, uh, in this shell, the upper proteins, phospholipids and cholesterol will be oriented in such a way that their polar heads will be exposed on the outer surface of the lipoprotein. This uh, uh, upper proteins which are present on the surface of this lipoproteins will make the lipids more soluble in plasma. So, such apoproteins includes apoprotein A, apoprotein C, D, E, apoprotein B100 and B48. So, some of the apoproteins uh, can be present, okay, they are present as an integral apoprotein, uh, for example, apoprotein B and some apoprotein may be acting as a peripheral apoprotein, example, apoprotein C. Uh, then classification of lipoproteins. You can classify this lipoprotein based on their density by ultracentrifugation or based on the separation uh, by their electrophoretic mobility. So based on the electrophoretic mobility and based on this uh, density, we can classify this uh, lipoproteins as chylomicrons. Since it has got the lowest density, it will be separate as the top layer. Uh, chylomicrons, very low density lipoproteins, it is also called as free beta lipoproteins, intermediate density lipoprotein IDL and uh, it is also this IDL will be also called as broad beta lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein LDL or beta lipoproteins, uh, finally high density lipoproteins HDL or alpha lipoproteins. This free fatty acids uh, is not generally they are not classified under lipoproteins because they are bound with a protein called uh, albumin. Uh, sometimes it may also be separated. During the separation of this lipoproteins, this free fatty acids which is also bound with albumin. Uh, why it is not generally classified under lipoprotein means this protein albumin is bound loosely with this free fatty acid and it is not a lipoprotein. This free fatty acid is not a lipoprotein. Only this chylomicrons, LDL, IDL, VLDL and HDL are classified under lipoproteins. This is about the size of the lipoprotein. When you compare the size of this lipoproteins, chylomicrons will have greater uh, size compared to all, this, all the other lipoproteins. So, chylomicrons will have a greater size compared to VLDL. VLDL will be greater than IDL. IDL will have greater size compared to LDL and uh, HDL will be the least uh, size. Okay, this is about the size. Then uh, when you see the classification and characteristics of lipoprotein, they can be classified based on the density. Okay, since chylomicron has got the lowest density of about 0.95, it is uh, placed at the top layer. So, it remains at the origin. The source for this chylomicron is intestine. Only intestine can synthesize this chylomicrons. And uh, the role of chylomicron is to transport exogenous triglyceride. Exogenous means dietary triglycerides are transported to various tissues with the help of chylomicrons. Uh, next is VLDL. It has got the density of about 0 0.96 to 1.006. It's called as pre-beta lipoprotein. This VLDL are synthesized in the liver which helps to transport the endogenous triglycerides. Endogenous means whatever triglycerides which is synthesized in our body. Synthesized by the liver. Okay. Then IDL. It has got the density of about 1.007 to 1.019. It is called as broad beta lipoprotein. Uh, it's the source for this IDL is it is uh, formed from the catabolism of LDL. It will be acting as the precursor of LDL. LDL 
uh, the density of LDL is 1.02 to 1.063. It's called as beta lipoprotein. It is formed due to the catabolism of VLDL via IDL. It helps to transport the cholesterol. HDL. Uh, the density of HDL is 1.064 to 1.21. It's called as uh, alpha lipoprotein. The source for this HDL is liver and intestine. It is also formed due to the catabolism of chylomicrons and VLDL. It helps to tra uh, it, uh, it, it will be acting as a uh, reverse cholesterol transport. Then uh, upper lipoproteins. Okay. The protein part of uh, lipoprotein is called as upper lipoprotein. Uh, all upper proteins are mainly synthesized in the liver. Uh, they help uh, to solubilize these lipids and uh, the uh, types of this apolipoproteins includes apoprotein B100 which is seen on the lipoproteins uh, VLDL, IDL and LDL, apoprotein B48 which is present on the chylomicrons and chylomicron remnants, apoprotein E which is present in chylomicrons, VLDL, IDL and HDL. Apoprotein A1 is seen on the chylomicrons as well as HDL and uh, apoprotein A2 is also seen on the chylomicrons and HDL. Okay, So this uh, apoprotein A1 is specific for this HDL lipoprotein and apoprotein C2 and apoprotein C3 are present on chylomicrons VLDL, IDL and HDL. Uh, some of the functions of this apolipoproteins is mainly apart from the structural role, these apoproteins will act as a enzyme cofactor okay, to activate certain enzymes like uh, lipoprotein lipase. So, lipoprotein lipase is activated by the apoprotein C2 and uh, LCAT, lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase can be activated by the apoprotein A1. Then some of the apoproteins can also serve as an inhibitor for this lipoprotein lipase. Uh, apoprotein A2 will inhibit lipoprotein lipase. Apoproteins act as ligands to bind with specific receptors on the target tissues. Uh, for example, apoprotein E can bind with LDL receptor related protein that is LRP. Okay, and uh, uh, apoprotein A1 can bind with. HDL receptor, apoprotein B100 can bind on LDL receptor. So, uh, they help in the interaction of this lipoprotein uh, receptors in tissues. Okay. Uh, functions of this apoproteins. Apoprotein A1 activates lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. So, it is a specific ligand for HDL. It can bind with HDL receptor. It has got anti-atherogenic effect. Then apoprotein B100. It is the only apoprotein which is present on LDL. Uh, it binds to LDL receptor on target tissues. Apoprotein B100 is one of the biggest protein which have 4536 okay? amino acid with a molecular weight of 550 kilo Dalton. Uh, this apoprotein B100 is synthesized in the liver. Apoprotein B48. It is a major apoprotein found on chylomicrons. It is synthesized only in the intestine. Apoprotein B100 and apoprotein B48. These are products of the same gene. Uh, but in the intestine, the mRNA can undergo editing so as to produce B48 protein. B48 is so named because it is only 40% of the size of B100. Apoprotein E. It's an arginine rich protein. It is present on chylomicrons, LDL and VLDL. Uh, astrocytes make apoprotein E. It is involved in the cellular transport of lipids in the central nervous system. Apoprotein E as, uh, up, uh, can be subdivided into uh, can, uh, it has got isoforms like apoprotein E1, E2, E3 and E4 due to the independent alleles in the genes. Apoprotein E4 uh, isoform is implicated in the development of senile dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Apoprotein E is also associated with lipoprotein 
glomerulopathy functions of lipoproteins when you take the functions of chylomicrons uh, these chylomicrons helps in the transport uh, of uh, tri- dietary triglycerides from intestine to adipose tissue for storage and they also uh, transport this triglyceride to muscles or heart for their energy needs okay then a uh, vldl a uh, vldl helps in the transport of uh, endogenous triglyceride from the liver to peripheral tissues for their energy needs and uh, functions of ldl ldl helps in the transport of cholesterol from liver to the peripheral tissues uh, the cholesterol thus liberated in the cell has got three major fate it is used uh, for the synthesis of other steroids like steroid hormones this cholesterol can be incorporated into membranes the cholesterol can be esterified into mufa by acyl cholesterol acyl transferase for storage uh, the cellular content of cholesterol regulates a further endogenous synthesis of cholesterol by regulating hmg coa reductase a uh, functions of hdl hdl is the main transport form of cholesterol from peripheral tissue to liver which is later excreted through bile this is called reverse cholesterol transport by hdl the only excretory route of cholesterol from the body is the bile excretion of cholesterol needs prior esterification with pufa the pufa will help in lowering cholesterol in the body and so pufa is antiatherogenic so these are the functions of hdl hope you have understood about the structure and functions of lipoproteins thank you for watching this video subscribe and support the channel biochemistry dsp